What's up, Internet? It's time for another Battle Box review. I got Mission 53 right here, and thank you, God, for the breeze that's coming through because it's so freaking hot right now. Whew, yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, feels good. So I got Mission 53 right here, and hopefully it won't be soaking wet by the end of the video. <laughs> so let's jump into this thing before I completely melt. Y'all. Yeah. All right, mission 53, mission 53. As always, I got the mission card right here. Basic, advanced, pro, and pro plus levels, the value of each level, and on the back, we got a write-up from yours truly here on the back. Be sure to read it, see if you find any grammar or spelling mistakes, and let me know, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, first up in the basic box is from Nine Line Apparel. It is a collapsible denim trail bowl. Really cool item right here. Nice denim, it's just, it's kind of got a little bit of a rustic design to it. Really nice brass zipper here, but it's not a denim taco or anything. Kind of looks like one, but it is a collapsible bowl. You open your zipper up and boom, you got yourself a nice bowl right there. All in a nice compact design. So what's really cool about this is you can obviously eat from this, you can collect water with this, you can eat soup in it, you can eat cereal in it, whatever the heck you want, honestly. Um, you can drink from it. But it's also a great thing to have if you have your companions with you when you go out into the field, when you like to go hiking and things like that. Your dog is what I'm talking about. If you got a dog that likes to go on adventures with you, this is a great way to be able to put some water in here so your dog can have some water, get a little refreshment. You can put food in there what have you. So awesome little item right here. You simply just fold it right back up like a taco and zip it up. And it's easy to carry because you can just clasp this onto your belt loop or you can clasp it to a backpack or anything like that. Or if your dog's got a pack, you can just attach it to that. So that is your first item in the basic box, the nine line denim collapsible bowl. Sit there, right there. The second item in the basic box is a bushcraft rope lighter. This is really cool. We leaked this item um, a couple weeks ago. It's also known as a trench lighter, a shepherd's lighter, and a sailor's lighter. So we've got extra cotton wick and five extra flints also in the box and some directions. Put this back in here so it don't blow away. Put this up here so I don't melt away. Common sense. We need to start doing these vidges like in the North Pole or something where it's cooler and I don't sweat so bad. So as you can see here, we've got a trench lighter or a rope lighter here. So we've got our wheel up here at the top that has a flint there. This is your adjustment screw to adjust the tension of your flint. You can take this out, drop your flints in, put it back together. That's how you adjust those. And just like a Zippo lighter, you spin the wheel, you get sparks. All right. You pull the ball up and it exposes your cotton wick right here. So there's something you need to do when you first get this, okay? You need to char the end of your wick. I got one down here that I've been using. Ah, oh, that breeze feels awesome that I've been using here. And as you can see, it's charred up here at the top, all right? So you can use a match another lighter or whatever match kind of works a little bit better because you can control the heat or whatever but you want to just char the top of your cotton wick right here once that's charred it's ready to go you can use it so all you do is pull it up get that char area close to your uh your wheel right here spin your wheel a few times i like to do it several times it throws sparks onto your char and it's like I just burned myself. It's just like char cloth. Catches the embers. Just like char cloth. So now you can light something, start a fire or what have you, and you don't have a standing flame so you don't have to worry about the wind blowing it out. Actually, the wind kind of helps you. Like so. So when you're ready to uh, snuff it out, all you do is pull the rope back down let the ball seat at the top and it snuffs it out and you're ready for the next time you need it. Awesome, windproof, 
kind of old school lighter design right there. I think you really like it. I think it's pretty freaking cool, to be quite honest with you. And then as you use your wick, as you can see with this guy here, you can slide this down, you know, to get more as you use it. And then it's got this hook here that's got the ball on it. So as you use it, you just bring your hook down, fasten it in there, and uh, you can, can still pull your wick in and out. How cool is that? And again, it comes with extra wick and extra flints. Boom, it's freaking awesome. I dig that thing. Back in the mystery spot. Now, it's for the third item. You ever get that uneasy feeling when you're out in the woods? You know, you just, ooh, I gotta go. There's trouble in paradise. We've all done it, we've all been there, okay? If you haven't, you ain't spent enough time out in the wilderness, out in the woods, or out hiking, or doing whatever. It happens, okay? We don't always have the luxury of a nice porcelain toilet, especially out in the middle of the woods. Can I get a little privacy, please, man? Okay. Well, not everybody. But anyway, we've got this right here as the third item in basic. It's a sh kit. It's a shit. It's a shite, shite kit, shite. We'll say shite. This is a family show. We'll say it's a shite kit. And we actually have two shite kits. <laughs> so you get two of these, right? So this is basically a bathroom and a nice compact little thing that you can keep with you. You can put it in your pocket, you can put it in your pack, keep them in your vehicle, put one on your boats, put one in your tackle box, have a way to bring a bathroom with you when you're out in case you get one in pains that you can't get away from unless you take care of business. All right, been there and done that. I can tell you all kind of horror stories, but I don't want anybody to get sick or, or anything and stop watching the video. So in this here shite kit, we get toilet paper, wet wipes, a disposable bag, and hand sanitizer. And what I really think is cool about this, it says single use. <laughs> You can figure that out for yourself, All right? So let's see what we got in here. Let's take a look at it. So here we have some moist towelettes. We've got some hand sanitizer for post party. You got tush wipes, individual flushable moist wipes. So. You can have this if you got plenty of these in your truck and you're going to a public bathroom. You don't like, you know, you can, you can flush these. And then we have toilet paper here. It's pretty nice. Got us some toilet paper and a bag here to put it all in so you don't leave any trace behind. Common sense is hot. I'm about to catch on fire. So that is your shite kit. You get two of them, put these right here, and that is your basic box. What is it like 106 right now? And I'm, I'm this close from jumping into the pond. Problem is that pond water is probably 100 degrees. I'm good now. <laughs> so now it's time for the advanced box. First up in the advanced box is from Gerber. It is the suspension next. They spell it in XT to drop the E kind of like we did because it's cool. Suspension next. Having a multi-tool around is a great thing, all right? I've got several different designs of multi-tools um, and they come in very handy. I keep one with my four-wheeler, I keep one in my truck, I actually keep one in my toolbox where I got all the tools that a multi-tool has, but it's nice to have it all together. Problem with a lot of those multi-tools is it's got a sheath and you gotta wear it on your belt. The cool thing about the Gerber suspension next is it's designed for the EDC guy, okay? This thing is designed to where you can carry it in your pocket. You don't need a sheath or anything like that. It's got a really nice pocket clip here and all the tools on it are in the outboard position. So you do not have to have this thing opened up to be able to access your tools, which is nice. So you got your multi-tool right there. So what's really cool about this that I like as well is it is spring loaded. So a lot of multi-tools out there that aren't, you have to keep one finger on the inside like this so that you can spread it back open. It's kind of a pain in the butt. This one right here will open up on its own, which is really nice. 
So what all do you got with this thing? You got spring-loaded needle nose pliers, standard pliers, wire cutters, Phillips screwdriver, all file with a ruler on the other side, medium flathead driver, scissors, small flathead driver, can opener, bottle opener, large flathead driver, wire stripper, two and a quarter partially serrated blade, tool lock, lanyard point, and a pocket clip. So that's your suspension next right there. Great multi-tool, really, really nice. Lots of tools in here and compact enough just to put inside your pocket and tote it around just like you would an EDC knife and it doesn't take up any space and it's a great thing to have. The other great thing about this, other than the tools being outboard um, available is it has a really good locking system on here so your tools are locked down. You don't have to worry about slipping and the tool folding in on you and cutting you if you're using one of the bladed tools. So really, really nice design from Gerber and that is your first item in the advanced box. The second and final item in the advanced box is from Stansport. It's a three pack of waterproof pouches. These things right here are invaluable to me, okay? So here we've got three waterproof pouches right here. So especially during the summertime, when you're at the pool, you're at the lake, you're out doing things that involve being around water, it's really, really smart if you don't allow your electronics to get in the water, right? So these three pouches right here are paramount for helping you keep your things dry and protected, right? So I use these a lot for several different things. Um, large ones like this for when I go fishing, Typically, if I go with my cousin on his boat and we go out doing some inshore fishing at the coast, I'll put my keys, my wallet, my phone, anything like that um, inside of one of these. And you simply just fold it up, fold in, and fold it back in again, and Velcro it closed. And everything is protected from water, from sand, from dirt and all that sort of stuff. You get three different sizes here. This is a great size for your cell phone. You can put your cell phone, you're at the pool, you know, and you're wanting to listen to music off the Bluetooth speaker or whatever, you're at the pool, you want to be able to have access to your phone, but you don't have to worry about drying off all the time. You can slide your phone in here, you can fold it up, and you've got a completely waterproof case right here to keep your phone in. Or if you got one of the larger phones, you can use this size. <laughs> but a great item to have. Um, another use that I use these for a lot is when I'm out riding my four wheelers and we're out playing in the mud and things like that. I can put my wallet, I can put my phone, I can put stuff like that inside of this, store it in the back of my four wheeler and I don't have to worry about my stuff getting all muddy and wet and all that nasty crap that you gotta worry about when you're playing around water and stuff. So great item right here to have at your disposal from Stansport waterproof pouches. Or if you're sweating a lot and you don't want stuff, you can put it inside the pouch so when you sweat on it, it doesn't get all messed up. It's an idea for you. I'm drowning. So now it's time for the Pro Box. The Pro Box this month has a really freaking cool item in it. It is the Got Your Six Survival Mag. Check this guy out right here. Yes, folks. It is an AR magazine, AR-15 magazine. But this is not your typical AR-15 magazine. There's way more to it than meets the eye. First off, a very, very good magazine right here. So you can run 5.56, 223, and 300 blackout ammunition through this. It has a really nice, high quality um, follower in here. This magazine is very robust. It can take a beating, okay?
So what is it that makes this magazine a little bit different than all the other AR-15 magazines out there? So for starters, it is a 10 round magazine instead of a 30 round magazine. It looks just like a 30 round magazine. So what's the rest of it for? That's where the survival part comes in, folks. <laughs> in the bottom of this magazine here is a survival kit, all right? Let's check it out. So what you do is you've got these metal clips right here you want to press these at the same time to remove this, to separate this from each other, okay? So you press those together with your fingers and you can separate. It's a little tricky, I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta give good pressure to these right here, pushing these in while pushing this away from each other. So the front of the magazine you want it to go that way, the bottom, you want it to go that way while pressing this. It takes a little bit of practice, okay? But using some rounds helps with that. So separate it, and as you can see here on the inside, they got stuff in there, right? So there's your 10 round magazine. On the inside of this is your kit. How about that? So we've got a kit here and Another thing you can use this for is you could use this to help filter water. You can put stuff in here, charcoal, sand, rocks, stuff like that. It's got a hole in the bottom, so you can fill this with water and you can filter water pretty good with that right there or put other stuff in it. So what do we got inside this kit right here? A mini knife multi-tool, fire starter cotton, bandages, alcohol pads, 11 function multi-tool card, can opener, cutting edge, flat screwdriver, ruler, beer bottle opener, four position wrench, butterfly screw wrench, saw blade, two position wrench, keychain or lanyard hole, function ID card, bottle opener, flathead screwdriver, three eighths hex wrench, the got your six retention tool, fishing line, floats, fishing hooks, swivels, weights, aqua tabs, UCO Stormproof Striker, UCO Survival Matches, Safety Pins, Flint Rod, Needle, Mini Compass, and a Wire Saw. So all that conveniently goes inside of the bottom of your survival mag here. And you've got yourself a pretty cool little survival kit. So it's a really cool way, I mean, I don't know why necessarily you'd want to hide a survival kit, but it's a cool way to um, conceal your survival kit, and it's just a cool way to have one with your firearm at all times as well. And it's real incognito. That's kind of cool to me. So it just slides right back together till you hear it click, and there you go. So again, very robust, can take a beating, and you got survival gear all on the inside right there. Really cool item from gotyour6.com. I like it. I like it a lot. God, freaking gnats. Die, you demon scum. So now it's time for the Pro Plus, the knife for the month, right? So this month is a very unique knife. Really cool design, and it's something unlike we've ever done before as a knife for the month. And it is from Mantis Knives. It is the gearhead from Mantis. It is oh, so sexy. What's really cool about this is it's kind of got this steampunk design to it, right? It, it looks very different from any other knife out there because we've got this copper gear system here. It's got three smaller gears on the inside and we've got this thumb lever right here. And what you do is you push this thumb lever down this way or across, depends on how you're holding it, but you push this down and it uses the gear system to deploy the knife. You can do it just like that right there. And then it has your lock here. Simply push that to the side and you're able to send the knife right on down back home, like so. It features a hollow grind 440C stone wash, three and three eighths inch drop point blade and measures just under five inches when closed and eight and a quarter inches overall at 6.3 ounces. The gray anodized scales are made from aluminum with OS8 stainless steel backspacer, black hardware, and tip-up carry pocket clip. 
Just an absolute sexy drop point blade right here. Really, really cool design. I really like the, uh, the OS 8 framing here with the aluminum um, scales that kind of have like, it's kind of patched on like, like a tank or whatever. It just has that mechanical steampunk design to it. And it's just, it's just a head turner. The locking mechanism here is very, very solid. You don't have to worry about it breaking loose on you. It's a real solid knife. Can take a beating. Very, very strong lock. There's no play in the blade. And as always, you wanna be sure it's sharp, and it is. That is your knife of the month from Mantis. The freaking gearhead. So sweet. So that's Mission 53 at Battle Box, folks. Really cool box this month with some pretty innovative, innovative, <laughs> innovative items in it. First off being the survival mag here from Got Your Six right here. Really, really cool way to take an existing item that's been around for freaking ever and change it up a little bit, add something to it, make it a little bit more versatile. Really, really cool item right there to be able to pack in a survival kit or add whatever you want into that bottom section right there in an AR-15 magazine. Really, really freaking cool item right there. I really enjoy that. Also, these Stansport waterproof pouches, use those all the time when I'm anywhere out around water, fishing, riding four-wheelers, boating, whatever, swimming pool. Great way to keep your electronics safe and away from moisture. Really, really nice. The trench lighter here, or the bushcraft um, rope lighter, really cool item right there. Great, great way to basically have char cloth with you all the time. Really, really cool, and it's an old school design that's timeless, and it works just as good as it did back then. Of course, having a multi-tool is paramount. This is one that's designed for the EDC guy, so you can just throw it in your pocket just like you would your EDC pocket knife, and you're good to go. And speaking of pocket knives, this gearhead from Mantis, that steampunk design, very unique. I, I love it. You're gonna love it too. It's just an awesome, awesome knife, and of course, when nature calls, you got a way to be prepared with that. And with the denim bowl right here, a great way to have a bowl with you for yourself or for your pets. So that is Mission 53. Awesome box this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a little late. Sorry I'm sweating. Sorry I'm out of breath. It's freaking hot. Like literally breathing sucks right now <laughs> so as always i appreciate you guys watching please be sure to like and comment down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications when i put up a new video and i'll see you next month with mission 54.